to UNCG. As a camp counselor, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to have valuable experiences, make new friends, and have a lot of fun. I'd like you to meet Dr. Howerton, a professor in the UNCG School of Education. Hi there, I'm Scott Howerton from UNCG. I'm a clinical assistant professor here in the teacher ed program. And I would just like to welcome you and thank you for volunteering to be a camp counselor this summer. One thing is just to remember to have fun, and that's the most important thing. But you'll be able to have more fun if you think about your, your students first or the kids that you're going to be working with first. And think about these things. What are they interested in? What do they find important? And what's the best way that I can challenge them? We asked some education majors here at UNCG about suggestions for working with students. Hey, I'm Abby. I'm a, student, I'm a Master's of Arts and Teaching student. And my advice for you is when you work with kids, the way they learn best most of the time, I believe, is that making real life connections, like making sure that what they're learning is going to serve them authentically in the real world. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I'm a junior in the middle grades education program and one of the main things that I found that really helps with students is let them know that you care. Get to know them, actually build relationships with them instead of just kind of going to the front and expecting them to learn because they're not going to care what you have to say unless they actually like you. Hi, I'm Tabitha Woods. Um, I'm a middle grades education major here at UNCG. My advice for you is have fun with it. Um, have fun with them. If you make a mistake, let them know. Tell them why it was a mistake and why you're going to change it. And at the end of the day, you know, this is just a wonderful opportunity. So enjoy it while you have the chance. We asked Dr. Heidi Colon about how to get kids excited for learning. Students love to feel and youth love to feel like what they're doing is relevant. Um, so the first thing that I think about in engaging elementary students with any topic or any um, activity is how is it relevant to them and their lives? Um, so anytime that you can make something relevant for students, that is an amazing way to hook students' interest and get them to buy into what you want them to do. Um, students know a lot. And I think we underestimate students' knowledge a lot of times. We think, eh, they don't know this, this, or that. You would be surprised how much elementary students actually know. Um, the other thing, frankly, is if you're excited about something, they are going to be excited about something. So whenever I go into the classroom, I try to bring as much energy and enthusiasm as I possibly can. I also think about giving them ownership. So allowing them to come up with their questions, allowing them to come up with choice, giving them choices about what they would like to pursue. Anytime you can give students ownership over something, of, over a learning task, um, it might be a small choice um, and it might be a pretty big choice. Um, that tends to allow them to invest in whatever you want them to do a little bit more robustly. It's, it's, a, it's not an easy game. I'm telling you, it's all right. Go further over to the right because you can jump through the thing. It's left. It's working. So, make activities relevant for students, be excited, and give students a choice and ownership in what they do. That's good advice. Matt Fisher is the director of the Self Design Studio. Here's what he had to say about motivating students. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Oh, wait, that's not what you want. Um, so how do I get kids, uh, children engaged while learning? Uh, I would say one of the most important parts is to actually get in there and do things with kids. Uh, if you're doing an activity, let's say building something, you can, of course, just lead the activity, you know, standing around. But if you're actually getting in there and, and building with them, I think that's very encouraging. And you'll learn a lot about the activity by doing it alongside of the children as well. I would just say to keep the students engaged that you're teaching so that they 
enjoy the activity and they learn more from it. My name is Morgan Allen and I am a junior in the Deaf Education Program at UNCG and I love kids. <laughs> My name is Courtney Dempsey. I'm a junior in the Deaf Education Program and working with kids is the highlight of my life. <laughs> Some suggestions for working with kids, I would definitely say to play to their imagination. Kids have wild imaginations and they're absolutely hilarious and they will love it if you get involved, get on the floor with them, be a kid with them. Something that goes hand in hand with their imagination is their curiosity. If you pique their curiosity, they're going to want to know more. So if you approach something in a way that makes them curious, you can teach them a concept and they're actively engaged and they want to learn more. As a camp counselor, you're going to be the highlight of this kid's trip. So give them a nickname, make up a handshake, do, do whatever you can to just make this kid feel involved, feel loved, because they're going to love you. For as long as I can remember, I have wanted to teach. I had such wonderful teachers in elementary, junior high school, and high school who inspired me to share knowledge with others. Watching students learn and grasp information is like a continuous evolution of growth that is conscious and, at times, unconscious to students. From this point of view, watching students in a perpetual state of becoming is exciting. Teaching for me is catching glimpses of the future unfolding which is service to humanity, unlike any other. Becoming a UNCG camp counselor is a great opportunity. In fact, after this experience, you may want to become a teacher yourself. If so, there are many opportunities for you here at UNCG. So, you want to be a camp counselor. We're hoping you'll take it one step further and consider the possibility of also becoming a teacher here in the state of North Carolina. So what does UNCG have to offer for those who want to teach. We have several program options. First of all, we have elementary education. We also have middle grades education, secondary education, what's also known as high school teaching. That could be as math, that could be science, that could be history, that could also be English. Maybe it's music that you're interested in. If that's the case, you can also become a licensed teacher in music here. We have music education. Maybe you want to work with the younger children. Birth through kindergarten is also a major here at UNCG. Who am I? I'm Jacqueline Dozier. I'm Director for Student Services and Advising. And what does that mean to you? That means that the School of Education has set it up here at UNCG so that regardless of what major you pursue, as long as there's licensure involved, we're here to meet your needs. We will work with the students from freshman to senior year, tracking your progress through all licensure requirements to make sure that everything stays on point. We'll also work with you with applying for your license here. We'll make the recommendation for you to the Department of Public Instruction. So we're a full service office, and if you're lucky enough, you'll actually come to us for your professional advising as well. Why should you make UNCG your home? Because we have so many different programs to offer. Why not choose here? We have several faculty in every program who are lead researchers in what they do, and we are here to serve you through our service office as well. We look forward to seeing you soon, and we do hope that you seek us for your teaching needs. You might be nervous. That's okay. I was nervous too. But the kids were a lot of fun, and I felt like I was really making a difference. Thanks for joining UNCG as a camp counselor. It's going to be a great summer.